The first point of contact here with the USP. It's labored, but he does find that headshot eventually. Even maybe getting a reload off. <laughs> this is looking quite good for Fallen. KNG able to provide an additional helping hand there to take down Sunny. And outside is under lock and key for the Brazilians. But look at this. Sergey sneaking through ramp room unspotted. But he does get traded out pretty efficiently if we're fair about it. Only getting that one kill. That's not going to be enough to bring this one back over to their side. As Paco and KNG finish things off. And, seven. They did and Alu now. He might be hearing the pitter-patter of footsteps on metal. And there you see it. Mayern is certain prepared for this very attack, but he still doesn't land the shot, and it starts opening up this upper side for Fur. He's certainly up for it. He's found three already. That might be just enough. With the help of Taco, they get the job done. The 5 go start for Made in Brazil. Here come the CTs now working from both control and decontamination, making their way forward. Sunny swinging on the side of the smoke up to Ariel now. They've fashioned a 1v1 out of this, which is quite Crazy, there's the Molly. Oh, no, Ariel straight past it, and he's gonna nail it. Great stuff there from Ariel. Forces oh his God. way past them all the time. Full coverage on top hut, so they don't have to like waste something to extinguish. So maybe they're not getting as much as they hope out of it. And they're still trying to make their way out into upper, but it may not be enough. Though the entries are starting to pour in. Yeah, it's looking pretty good here, but there is a player that dropped onto the side. Mayans ready, and he'll take down one, and Fallen swings up for the second, and they they have a perfect crossfire there. The timing couldn't have gone more poor. This is a very scary position. He tries to play the advantage of his angle, and it's going to work out beautifully well. Two quick kills for Fallen, and now it's a 2v4. Ends looked set up for greatness there, but Fallen shuts it down. Yeah, big individual play there from Fallen, no question. And now Fur might be the final nail in the coffin of this round for the Fins. Indeed, it will be the backstab through Radio Room. Ends it. 9-3 now the score, but Fallen has to be given so much credit. Such great work. Oh, Him and really uh, great detail there from, from the MIBR team as they look to try to finish this round off. There's only 20 seconds to go. They have to force their way forward. Nice entry from KNG. The trades start rolling through, and that's looking pretty good here. They will get that bomb plant, but is there a retake to be had here for ends? They look out positioned here, Dust. Yeah, it's not looking good at all, is it? Limited resources to work with. They do have the kit onto Alu. Maybe if he can find a kill very quickly, they would consider it, but it's not going to come into fruition. Fallen finds that out right away. Now at seven, not much to lose, to be fair. Might as well try to see what you can do with that Sorry, eagle, but it's not a great pick to get early on to get that quick five on four. Now they'll just waltz into a free upper bomb slide save for Sergey, who's standing firm for one, but that's not going to be enough as this bomb does make its way in. Alu does get a parting shot there on his way out of heaven. And now X7 on the flank through lobby actually makes this interesting all of a sudden. It's back into a 2v2, back to a winnable scenario. Time running low. Yeah, that was a great kill. That really does change things. And they will make their final push here to try to save the round, and it's going to work out. Alu picks it up with the trio of kills. Oh, God, it's getting so, so close. I don't know if there will be time here. <laughs> they're against the clock more so than they're, they're against ends at this point. The kills will start to come through there for Enz as they start to desperately push. Very key position here for Sergey. Unable to stop the plant from happening, though. And he'll be, be taken down as the rotation is caught by Fallen. Great spray. And that is going to be the round. The first map going towards MIBR with the surprise pick of Nuke. What are they going to be able to find, though, is the real question. X7 and company are still here left to defend this site, and they're getting a rotation out as well to the back halls. KNG, though, so far able to deal with that rotation through the back side. But Alu and Sunny now chiming in, putting a stop to this round very quickly. A very dominant performance here from the Fins on the this pistol. Position. Coming in from CT, doesn't know where KNG is. Although KNG will have his back to Alu. Not expecting that rotation. And now the bomb comes through to B. Sergey with it all to do, but the flashbang has him absolutely dead to rights. As Alu now, it all rests on him. Another great flashbang. Time and again, M1. Ariel coming in now with the UMP, trying to see if they can make this retake work, but Mayern has other things to say about it as he finds Alu leaving Ariel all by his lonesome. He has upgraded to an AK-47, but there's just way too many things to worry about at once, and Mayern Brazil do find a And when that first orb appears, you don't know when that's going to be, it's probably going to catch you out. And that's kind of the, po the point of it, I think, in many cases. And Seven goes really aggressive. He's been absolutely murdered by Mayern. That seemed really ill-advised, Dan. Oh my god. I don't know about all that. That, that, uh, I'm not sure about that one. Hey, well, this is the wrong round, I think, for that to, for that play to be <laughs> called. That's unfortunate. That's. I can't believe he committed even through the fire. Like, I mean, that was. This is what we call a build order loss if we're talking about, you know, StarCraft terms. Yeah, again, and Main Brazil yeah, loved Triple IG as the Ali player, but he's actually shuffling back over pretty quickly to Tcon. So he wants to help this attack rather than backstab. 
Taco leading the charge here up the sidewalk, pushing really close to Z before finally getting caught by Sunny. Bomb doesn't get planted, but Sunny just biding his time, playing very patiently. Really good trigger discipline to wait this all out. He's just not done yet, Dan. He's continuing to dispatch of players on Made in Brazil. He's won this round almost single-handedly. Yeah, Sunny played this so, so well. That setup was really cool because you can see the way that it was designed. It was actually to to punish the players who run yeah, sidewalk. To get this fur getting this deep towards Z but while the bomb gets planted, getting so much space denied to Ents. Now they have no footing to go for this free take as quickly as they would like to, but they still find a way to break through anyhow. Ariel doubles up right there. May aren't able to respond and keep it even at a three on three, but Ents still do have the health advantage as they start pressing their way forward. They also might be able to use their utility to their advantage in the kit. Seven is able to find Taco Sunny onto Marin, and there oh. you have it. It's actually still pulled that off, despite the fact that Main in Brazil looked comfortable throughout that whole process. I mean, they got so much room. They got the bomb down quickly. Sides, but no one's really found a foothold just yet in the round. Fallen though, spotting T's dropping around T Khan and does dispatch of Alu. Nice headshot there from him, doing the extra damage. Now the first is towards Ivy, misses, but still alive. Still buying time, still holding his ground, and there's another one onto Ariel. Again, Fallen known for how he handles the pressure of being closed on. When his back's against the wall, he can deliver, and he's going to continue to do so with KNG's assistance as well, leaving Sunny all by his lonesome. HP. Fallen and Taco don't have almost any to their name, and there is some time here for Sunny to try to work them out, but they know where he is. There's only two potential avenues that he can now emerge from, and this is one of those two. And Fallen's on that position. Who better to close the round down with one single point of health? Of course, it's Fallen with yeah. the quad kill. And and he's going to shut down the round. Trying his best to buy time, find kills where he can, but no one's really giving him a look. In the meantime, Fallen's been trading out with KNG. Alu with another kill, and it's not looking good. It's looking like OT. Fallen's still alive, though, with the AWP, and he's making his way in. No support. It's a man and an AWP. And he will go down. Overtime has indeed been secured. The pressure on Sunny, but Sunny so far has been up to the task. He's continuing to dish out blows left and right to Made in Brazil. It's only now two standing, trying to plant this bomb. Mayern has to fake it, wheeling around the bomb train. Does find Sergey, but time is so low, and Alu is oh so close to him. At Z comes out the smoke, but Mayern spots it, but can't get the kill. Alu instead the victor, and with that, the map How goes they want to the way up together, and you can see so many CTs concentrated over here towards Connector. So far, equal exchanges break out in the bathrooms, but KNG looking to take the advantage that he does. And nicely done, the trades go somewhat evenly here, and now it's time to try to get that bomb to a bomb site. but they're cut off from an ability to do so. Taco there. Oh, go! Oh, nice shots coming through from him, and also Fallen to finish it off. It was... And that's a really good way to have Fallen and get a one and done here. Oh, beautiful. Turns around. And maybe. Fallen is moving forwards with the or with the M4, not with the AWP. Alan's on the AWP. <gasps> Alan's been annihilated by Fallen there. That's a beautiful burst. That's the only way you can maybe try to win this one. And he finds Sonny. Sonny had no idea. Oh no, I can't believe Fallen pulled that one off. Here it is. There's the bait. Fallen's making a lot of noise. And there's the his position reveal. He gets two. And then in the distraction, Fallen plays off of that to pick up a frag of his own. That setup has worked out way too well. Ali with a nice, precise headshot, but there is still much more to be done. He has no time at all. Has to fall back. Really killing the clock here. They've got that lurk setup outside long. The presence staffing is heard by Fur. Peak, and he doesn't win the fight. KNG with a quick trade. That means everything. A man goes close to the smoke. They're going to have to go through this. He knows that he's going to get the spray out. Gets himself a double headshot. Taco there for support. Will shut it all down. And there's nothing left on that B bomb site. And that's and a 9 just, 6 finish. I think he just walked into the first bullet of another four bang attempt. Taco, though, with the flashbang. That's worked out really well. Explosive effort. Changing up the pace to great effect, to great impact. And they've got the bomb down. They've got the 3v2 after plant. Ents are out of position. The flank is coming from Alu. Mm. But how much is it going to do? Nothing, I would imagine, now, as he's all alone. And they have all their bases covered here in this post lane range. Still, you almost wonder if Alu just back off. But no, he point. Alu takes take his up towards Monster. It's a new look, but he misses a big opportunity. No harm, no foul, he gets away, but that could have gave his team an advantage, and now it allows Made Brazil to spill out, and they're trading their way into B. Ents is holding on for dear life, though, and they're getting the kills they need. It's all on Fur. 
He's found one, but it's the 1v1 against Sunny. It's all gonna come down to this and Fur. He's done it. He's sending it home. Very well played. Very well played indeed to MIBR. It looked a little bit shaky here and there, but they managed to cobble it together to just enough to get the...